Rockies and the Nationals at Coors Field on Wednesday afternoon. Steven Strasburg in search of win number 16. His opposition is Colorado's John Gray, giving Noah Syndergaard a run for his money for best starting pitcher flow in the majors. Let's pick it up bottom one. The reigning NL Player of the Week, Charlie Blackman, digs in as he faces Strasburg, the start of big things for the Rockies. It's an add one to the total as he goes the opposite way to left center field. Good one can't cut it off. It goes to the warning track. Blackman will hold with a leadoff double. Charlie Blackman continues his hitting streak. It's now up to a dozen. Strasburg is struggling. The Rockies the type of team that could make him pay for it. Gerardo Parra now. And this is a line drive towards right center field by Parra. They can't cut it off. It'll go to the wall. It's going to clear the bases. A three run double by Gerardo Parra. Four nothing Rockies. The Rockies have had five hits in the inning. And John adds to it. He'll drive it to the wall in right center field. It'll score a pair. A two run double for John Gray. Seven nothing Rockies. Next pitch. Line to left field, that's a base hit. That might get to the wall, it's going to. Arenado getting third, he's being waved in. Parr is gonna try for three. Here comes a relay throw, slide, and safe at third. Another RBI, another extra base hit. An RBI triple for Parra. The Rockies have knocked Strasburg out of the game with two outs in the second inning. Nine to two Rockies lead. 2-2 to Harper is hit pretty well to center field, and this one's gone. And like I said, folks, there was just a feeling about the way this game was teetering, and here comes Washington. Tony Walters with a drive to right says, not this afternoon, gone to the second deck. Rockies get one back. It's 10-6 Colorado. The Rockies defeat the Nats in a slugfest 12-10, their first back-to-back -back wins in exactly two weeks. Steven Strasburg's start of an inning at two-thirds, the shortest of his career due to ineffectiveness. His nine runs allowed a career high. Jason Wirth extends his on-base streak to 45 games, one shy of the all-time record for the Nationals and Expos franchise held by Rusty Staub.